and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our last random champion deck for today. We have Caitlyn and Sivir together. So we're going to be playing um, a lot of the Flash Bomb Traps, not every single Flash Bomb Trap card, but we're going to be playing a lot of the Flash Bomb Trap cards to go along with Caitlyn. Uh, we, we got Piltover Peacemaker, we got Sting Officer, and then we're also going to have Karina. Um, probably going to be planting the five Flash Bomb Traps mostly with Karina and then just being a 5-5 five -five, um, up there as well. But then we'll, we'll combine that with Sharima. We got Sivir, um, Merciless Hunter, Rock Hopper, Treasure Seeker, right? A lot of the Sharima cards. And just kind of throw them together and just kind of see what the deck's like. Siphoning Strike works really well with with both champions. We got three copies of this. Um, whether we want to strike to help level up Sivir or you know have Caitlyn strike to plant two Flash Bomb Traps, you know either one of those are going to be good uses for Siphoning Strike, plus growing our champions, making it more difficult to block our Quick Attack champions. Sounds pretty good too. A couple Hourglasses for protection, some Preservariums for some card draw, um, more Vulnerable with Exhaust because both of our champions love the Vulnerable with the Quick Attack. And that's the whole deck. Quicksand is going to be like a defensive thing, like whenever they're attacking and we get like our Caitlyn in combat because they challenge Caitlyn or whatever, you know, we can use Quicksand to help uh, help us block. All right, let's get to it. Let's play some Caitlyn Sivir. Let's go head on over and play our five games. And we're going for another 4-1. <laughs> that would be awesome. We'd see if we could get four, four one today, four ones today, if we're lucky. Had a really good day with all of our random champion decks. So we're playing against Viego Freljord. Viego Freljord can... Uh, you're just Viego. Viego can really go over the top. The Freljord version with no other champions means you get to play Entreat. And so Entreat can draw Viego, so you're going to make sure to have Viego more often. So this is going to be a tough matchup. Yep, came over Warren Soldier. And the, the great part about this with the Encroaching Mist is, yeah, that takes my Vulnerable, uh, the card that I really wanted to use on something else. Would you look at this place? My board! A little further, bingo. Ooh, Sting Officer. I was planning on Sivir. Yeah, I think we still Sivir. Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. And you won't believe what we found today. This would have been a perfect time for an exhaust if they go... Oh, wait, they can't go Viego. <laughs> it's round four. Business as usual. All right, so I was kind of planning on having Sivir challenge, but I decided I won't. I decided that, you know, try to get the Nexus damage in. We'll just have the 2-1 challenge. Oh dear. Cool. I like seeing a clean board on their side for my flash bomb traps and stuff. And stuff. The whole world will know my language. I smell a rat. living. 
So I basically want to attack before they play other things that other things could die and, and get them more encroaching miss. That's a good quality card. But the most aggressive line would have been playing the Treasure Seeker and then playing like the Waking Sands and everything like that. I have something very special planned. All right, let's let's plant these flash bomb traps. This works. Sure, hope this works. Wow, it did. All right, good. My heart. Okay, where are you at, Siver? Twenty-four. Considering blocking. Behind this door, you think? Deadly traps, angry guardians, bunch of gold. Okay, so I don't have to worry about Ruination since I have a Rite of Negation. Siphoning strike to kill some like I can't siphoning strike and kill either the seven six or the eight seven right now. Business as usual. They have not had very many spells at all. I've been pretty lucky with that. So yeah, our Karina dies here, but the good news is, you know, like this Hydra Vine takes a good amount of damage so that if there are, you know, flash bombs, hopefully the flash bombs will kill this Hydra Vine. And so we trade those two. So definitely take that trade. Perfect. Perfect. I do this for her, for us. I will find her. And a shovel. So it turns that thing into eight health. Now ten. Ah, uh, all right. They finally found some removal. Okay. Let's talk about this is going to be a tough matchup. Viego will dominate the game if they have it and they if they had Viego. Ooh, that still doesn't help. Artist going to make a meal of them. Yeah. Okay. Multiple Viegos, multiple Hydra Vines. Camboran Soldier on three. I mean, it's just the dream. 
with Viego. So, good game. Good win. 0 and 1. GG's. Let's not face Viego again. Okay, it's not Viego. So that part's good. I'm not sure about the Hourglass. I could see keeping it. Like, it's a two-mana card. We want cheap cards. We want our one and two mana cards. Oh, man, this is... I, now I wish I would have mulliganed it, but because, of course, we still want, like, Caitlyn and everything. Like, we still need our, our real good cards. This is not a good mulligan. Could just pass the round right here and save spell mana so they could play this and have hourglass protection. I guess not. Caitlyn! Yeah, I should pass it around. I definitely want to be able to protect Caitlyn with hourglass. Hmm. News from the Undercity Shift, Detective Zane? It's all in the report, Sheriff. Maybe not. Pay off nicely. We can't really play slow Where against them. On foot. That's a good hand. Hey, Camby. Thanks for the sub. I appreciate that. He said, thank you for the continued content. Showed a friend your meme tier decks, and now he's a fan as well. Keep up the good work. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Gotta get those hype beds in. You shall not kill my Caitlyn. And CT Frog with that resub for six months. Now, thank you, CT Frog. Well, you're certainly the fuzziest partner I've worked with. So I think that they're going to use like Troll Chant, My life forever, uh, Flash Freeze, that or like a uh, Brittle Steel, that kind of stuff. And so I think they want to try to take out the Caitlyn. Like if I have Caitlyn Challenge Teemo, that's easy for them. So now it makes their life a little bit more difficult if I uh, split this up. That's what I'm kind of thinking. All right, let me update our sub goal. It should be three out of five. Yeah, maybe I could have exhausted. I I want to keep this quicksand up, but yeah, I, I guess I could have exhaust target Caitlyn. Because then they brittle steel. They still make they make two flash bomb traps, but they don't um, kill anything. Signing off. It's still gonna be uh, frost bitten. Sivir's good. I like Sivir with the Vulnerable a lot more. Scoping the area. Sivir, good. Quit struggling. Why is the 3-1 not attacking? 
Like, why would it not be attacking? Flash bomb traps. Hmm. Karina, what brings you here? Business and pleasure, Sheriff. for me a special breed this pay by the hour possibly the villages. They grow up so fast. Brittle Steel is just like the best card against Caitlyn. They had a lot of Brittle Steels. Wow. What a hand. That Ice Fell Archer, every every Brittle Steel, every Troll Chant, the Peddler, that, what a hand. Both champions. Champion on one, champion on three. I aim to win, and my aim is wow. excellent. Let's investigate. Incredible, incredibly impressive. Right where I want you. Wow. Name Randall. Save the whole state. Stands beneath me and winds behind me. Officer J.S. Hopkins. End of the road, see? A road you have followed perfectly, little block. That's their second thermogenic beam. Planning on using Merciless Hunter or Sivir to kill Caitlyn, but GG's. Perfect hand. Alright, no 4 1. It's the difference of having having Brittle Steels and Troll Chance and not having Brittle Steels and Troll Chance. Is Nami. Is Nami. It's like all these spells are good, and they all they all do something good. But I think we want to curve out with our units. You didn't expect this one to be the worst deck. Well, this deck has the worst combat tricks, and we saw there that game that we got dominated by combat tricks with Troll Chance and Brittle Steals, and we this deck has 
nothing for combat tricks. All the other decks, you know, the other, the first two had twin disciplines. The second one had had twin disciplines plus um, sharp sight, and then the last, then the third one had pill cascade. This one's got nothing for the two mana combat tricks, two mana or less. Zon taught me to never let my guard down. On foot. I don't want a make it rain killing both this and the rock hopper, so I'm not gonna so I'm not playing the rock hopper right now. I'll just be passing and saving spell mana or having an aftershock for a Nami. There we go. We're gonna make some peace. So we don't want our very first card. Oh no! I actually haven't put this in any deck yet that we've played. Kelp Maidens. We haven't played any Kelp Maiden decks yet. Cool. I was gonna say that we don't want traps to be on top, but if it's made of sand, I can then they played another one of those things. Me, miss, not by a long shot. Okay, so two out of five for leveling up Caitlyn. Good, no flash bomb right there. So we still get all four in there. Could also go Siphoning Strike. I guess mine as well. I don't know, they know about the seven mana Siphoning Strike. Wow, it worked! That's two more flash bombs and five five Caitlyn. Well, the, that Snapjaw Swarm won't have a flash bomb. That is for sure. Officer, keep up, keep up. Hmm, no flash bomb there either. So I got six in the deck. Gonna find a gift for an acting, right, Arda? This got pranked twice? Yeah, I'll just challenge that thing then. Like, you know, obviously I could go here and then I'm hitting for two. But, eh, maybe I'll do that actually. Because these flash bombs should kill these things anyway, right? Vulnerable, elusive sting officer. 
<laughs> Never mind. So much for the flash bombs. Eventually, these flash bombs will go off. It may take a little while, though. Me out, flash bombs. There's ten of you in here. Ten, I'm telling you. We draw Karina and activate him again. Oh, I thought that was Karina. Tilt over Peacemaker is not bad though. Only one. Hmm. Notify patrol to close in on this location. We'll prepare them a nice welcome. There's some more. Close yes. No Level up, Caitlin. <laughs> this one got very many. Now that I have this 5 1 overwhelmed, I'm not killing. There's so many elusives everywhere. Oh, so I'm killing this thing. Let's kill him that. Wrap him up tight. I, was, I was trying to get this thing to strike them to get two more flash bombs in, but. Not too many elusives. Okay. So down to six. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. All right, again, putting a card on top that doesn't have. Whoa, you can't attack like that into the gate lane. What are you doing? The trap is dead. You can't you can't play that card. Quick hands make quick work. Just take three to the Nexus. Alright, that's game. Yeah, they hit Lurk twice in their non-lurk deck. <laughs> another criminal court, another case closed. They made two of those uh, blood bait things. That was a really good Caitlyn game. We had Caitlyn round three that just stayed out forever and struck a ton and double siphoning strike with the Caitlyn. That was a great Caitlyn game. Yeah, we killed Nami and Shelly in that one. Twist fake gangplank with Bandle City. Exhaust is so good if we find our champions, but we've got to have our champions. Maybe I send back the Treasure Seeker, keep Exhaust. Champion. 
thinking again bilge water probably make it rains and red cards and stuff that's why i sent back the two one yeah we leveled up sivir in the first game against viego but viego still just just dominated i didn't have like other things attacking really with it it was sivir was on her own so the level up didn't really matter Perfect. Found Caitlyn. I never now I leave that beaker? I got it. The problem with that, of course, is now we don't have exhaust to go along with Caitlyn, which I would really want to have. Are they going to have the destroy a landmark and deal 4 damage? I really hope not. Hot on the trail. Hot on the trail. Get him, Caitlyn. No. No! Okay. Doesn't kill Caitlyn yet. Let's investigate. Yeah, this time they drew the, <laughs> the flash bombs immediately. First two cards. That's too bad. Would you look at this place? Where's our hourglass when we need it? Yeah, I've got some Vandal City Pirates over here. I'm kind of cleaning the board because those things are all pretty scary. They're just, you know, like, my, love, my life total is not that high if they're going wide like that, you know, kind of just need to use resources even though... Didn't want to, but I feel like that's what we got to do. I'm always up for a round or two. They're going red card. Makes sense. Who says I don't share? That seems like a pretty good decision. Oh, they found me. Twins of Fate still awesome. Well. <laughs> One on each. If it's made of sand, I can ride it. You've got a problem, I've got a price. Still have five flash bombs. I think they all should be within the top four cards. Your king has returned. Only the hand life deals you, don't you think? It's a sharp tongue you've got there, River Snake. Hmm. Danger, please. All right, Flash Bombs, I need you to help out. I need you to kill Gangplank immediately. Round start. Draw, draw the card. Kill Gangplank. No, Sivir's at 15 for leveling up. Time so, well, yeah, I don't have, like, a level Sivir either. We need there to be a Flash Bomb, and we need it to hit Gangplank. 
The Bandle Buccaneers. I think the, the first four cards should have all five flash bombs, I think. At the very least, they have three of the five. Wow, no flash bomb. Come on, now this one a flash bomb? They just drew an extra card. They just helped me out. Hopefully that's their downfall. Flash bomb. Can you clank? No, oh, I oh, went to the one that didn't really matter. Break their leg. Explosives. Oh, that's doing three dollar three. All right, so I can, I can play quicksand, and then we take six less damage. We should probably do that. Nothing personal. Still kill Sivir. I wonder if I should plant five or activate five. Activate just activate will kill Gangplank, but Gangplank's still vulnerable and everything and at one health. Gangplank basically dead. I want to plant five more. My magnum opus. In the next round, we can have Caitlyn and Siphoning Strike. Closing in on the mark. No backup needed. So, how many traps activated this round? What two? Oh, what have we here? Yeah. So, whenever Caitlyn strikes, does two the Nexus. Flash bombs over there. I just gotta hope that these flash bombs kill. I have a lot of flash bombs over there. Gotta hope that kills Gangplank. Yes! Got him! Woo! Got exactly two flash bombs. No, thank you. Let's not do deal four and deal six. No, thank you at all. All right, deal three was for Mega Rings. Quick hands make quick work. Hopefully, no more gang planks. Oh. Okay. 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 Uh, locker. They don't have all like the puff caps and everything. It's only doing one damage, so it's not as bad. I'll shoot the wings off a of build uh. Gently, gently. <laughs> you get all that? All right, so that puts me to four. They should shoot me and put me to three. Which is what they're gonna do. We get three puff caps. And now this should be dead. Right, we're down to two. <laughs> That's a five? Three. Okay, sorry. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Alright, so that's not lethal. Now 
never lost oh anything. no, you got to be kidding me. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Let's keep saving Caitlyn, I guess. So now we're down to one. Now one puff cap kills us. What a card. It wasn't lethal if I attacked out, which is why I did this. They're going to block the 5-1. Why are you not blocking the 5-1? Your Twisted Fate's dead anyway. You have to save 5 damage. Draw a card. No! Man. One and three, Gangplank's got us. Wow. Gangplank's with all those... Um... Powder kegs. You know, they made so many powder kegs and everything. And that one attack with the level up gangplank. That one attack with the level up gangplank killing my Sivir. Talia Katarina. It's a cool combination. We've played Talia Katarina before. You uh, try to level up your Talia and then have, like, Katarina get you extra attacks of, like, attacking with Talia. It's a cool combination. They'll probably have, you know, like Rock Hopper, maybe Merciless Hunter, maybe some stuff like that for Piltover Peacemaker. Technically, Piltover Peacemaker could kill Katarina as well. <laughs> I don't. You said Sivir. It seems like she's not pulling her weight. I don't know if that's it. Son taught me to never let my guard down. I don't think it's Sivir. Kind of the rest of the Sharima cards aren't, and just us not having. Any good combat tricks. Never see these coming. And I don't. I guess I probably don't have enough card advantage. Well, that's unlucky. Waste of a flash bomb. Eat up the other vulnerable thing before playing the Sivir. Yeah, I have a yeah. We've we've played a couple of different Caitlyn decks that are up on Mobilitics. Yep, you can search by champion and find those. Or, um, if it's made of sand, oh man, I, I guess we cannot write. avoid the vulnerable, can we? That's okay, I have Ancient Hourglass to protect. It's just waiting to be found. And you won't believe what we found today. That sounds like a headline that's, um, you know, just trying to grab your attention and everything. One of those disingenuous headlines of, You won't believe what we found today. Move. Click here to find more. Yep, damage from the, the flash bomb traps do count to leveling up Sivir. So I'm going for destroying that so they don't get to copy that with Talia. And make a lot of 5-3s. Oh. 
I guess that's a thing. I was definitely expecting that to happen and knew that was going to happen the whole time. Yep. This feels weird to me that, you know, like the landmarks getting destroyed does the, you know, the bonus. It's just, I still haven't gotten used to that. It just feels odd. Did not get it copied with Talia, at least. On foot. I think this is safe, or safe enough. Level up Talia has 6 health, so like, my siphoning strike wouldn't kill level up Talia. Hmm. I wonder what caused them to think about that for so long. Now Talia would get them multiple 5-3s again. So it's looking like a 1 in 4, but 1 in 4, not bad either. Get us the, just the opposite of the 4-1. <laughs> Out of I don't think I've ever heard that voice line before. Yep. And... I'm very glad they did that. That allows me to save my Sivir. Very happy about that. I don't know why Talia is not challenging the server. What? Follow me. Alright, trying to give them some more flash bombs. Maybe we have a decent amount of flash bombs hit the Talia. Huh. That's an odd way to use a ride of negation. Save two flash bombs. And that's it. I'm doing this to level up Sever. And also see if maybe we get lucky and just kill this Talia. It's doing five random damage, maybe all five go to Talia. Only one to Talia? Well, oh, never mind. Two. Alright, two damage wins to Talia, three to their Nexus. It's just the first one happened and then the level up and then the rest. So no, not a very good use of a card. We love it when they run. History is whatever. Hey, wake up, you hammer! On foot. Wrap them up tight. And I guess this.
Awesome. Good job, flash bombs. Do you feel flash bombs are stronger than puff caps? No. Well, one individual flash bomb is, is stronger than one individual puff cap. However, it's much easier to get tons of puff caps than it is to get tons of flash bombs, and therefore getting a multitude of puff caps is more effective than just a handful of flash bombs. I only have one trap left, so might as well plant five more. <laughs> activate all of them, we just only activate one singular one. Yeah, the sever is vulnerable. Like, just everything's vulnerable. They've just had an incredible amount of these. Roiling Sands. Like, I think they've had double-digit Roiling Sands in this game. So after the spirit fire, it's going to clear my entire board. I'm glad they didn't draw any flash bombs. They're still all in there. All right, that takes up the last vulnerable thing. So grant the weakest enemy can't block, and it's six power. Well, that's convenient. Oh, they found me. Plant five again. Do y'all think we have to block? If it was oh no, no, we definitely have to block. Ugh, this girl is heavy. Oh, so the game's just over. Yeah, the game's over. Because that thing has overwhelm, and this can't block. GG's. These desert naturalists were awesome, and obviously I completely wasted that aftershock. That was probably a bad idea to completely waste an aftershock. We got the reverse 4-1. There we go. We had to reverse it up. <laughs> Still, yeah, kept the streak going. Had to, had to uh, get that reverse 4-1. Okay, so I think we saw that you know not being able to affect combat is really tough. You know, like we have good quick attack attackers with Caitlyn and Sivir, but having no kind of like our only you know, like we have ancient hourglass to save, but having no good palm spells, um, that's gonna kind of be it. Like that, we could play. Uh, Shapestone, it's all right, I guess, you know, it's, but it's not just nearly as good as like what other people have. Um, another option card I don't love, but another option is the Absolver. Could be like the answer here is to be playing more Exhaust, Ruthless Predator, and then just more card advantage, more card draw, um, to go along with that. Um, that could be an option, but didn't work out didn't work out for us this time um maybe just like less less of the sharima cards more of like the piltover and zon cards that like they go along with flash bombs with card draw and all that kind of stuff and and spells and puff cap peddler 
and all that kind of stuff and then just having like Sivir as just a great attacker that's that probably would have been a a uh a better deck but that's uh yeah that's how it is so there we go that's the video for caitlin siver those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and as always feel free to leave any comments about the deck hopefully y'all really enjoyed the random champions today sometimes they don't work like this one but we had three successful random champion decks so no complaints here um, but as always Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.